Clouds roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day Good morning, welcome to Diary of a Tent Wife. I am Lisa, this is Theo. Hello. You're joining us for breakfast this morning. <clears throat> this is week 23, 24 and 25. But we filmed a lot of it in Lusaka. We have left the bush um, and we're in Lusaka for a few days. So we are going to go baby shopping for the first time. Um, I think I'm a little bit more excited than Theo. About, about the baby shopping um, so it's kind of to get some some of the big things like I've got a few little clothes and bits and some presents from people but it's actually like buying furniture and stuff because we don't want to um, you know like fly back in and then not have any of the main things so there's two shops going up. that we've been told to go to there's not that much don't think in Lusaka. I think it's a bit harder than the UK for, for baby shopping and it's probably all imported from South Africa I'm guessing so it's going to be so expensive. So we're going to go to two baby shops and then um, we have to go to Emirates to sort out my flight, um, around Theo's flight because we're flying different times and we're going to go to furniture shops. So if we don't find anything in the baby shops then um, yeah, or we'll just have to buy some, try and find something in there. So yeah, that's going to be our day. So our first stop was a fail because the shop wasn't actually there. Um, couldn't see any signs or anything. Got to the end of this road where it said it was in the address and I did check on Facebook. Um, but yeah, so it wasn't there. So let's go to the other shop then. cots there for you. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, the desk is quite nice. Oh, that little chest, look at that little chest of drawers. That's cute. That is nice actually. So we just went in to sort out our flights and um, I kind of changed Theo's ticket to go back at the same time as me. Um, because I was told you book online and then you go in so they can assign you like the bassinet seats because they can't do that online. So then you have to say that you're flying back with a baby. But then they said that um, we can only see if we'll be sat together at check-in. So um, like not guaranteed that we'd be sitting together and because we're on different tickets and they reserve those seats for nursing mothers, which I understand but I thought they have, they would put families together. Like if you've got a newborn baby, surely you would let the mother and father sit together. Um, find it a bit weird, um, but I guess there's nothing you can do about it. Look at the nice little table decorations for Valentine's Day. You're welcome. Are we? <laughs> we've given up and are now having breakfast because we've already had two fails this morning already. Oh, but this is cute. Mm, yum, yum. A healthy breakfast. <laughs> Look at the ears. Healthy breakfast. <laughs> so the day's looking up a little bit because we just went to Mint Lounge for breakfast, which is a really nice cafe. They've got a couple of them over Lusaka. And I got a free red velvet cupcake because it's Valentine's Day. Mmm, yummy. And this is my cupcake. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. So we're at another mall now and I'm really hoping that we can actually find somewhere to buy some sort of baby stuff. <laughs> These are the cribs and pots. They're so expensive. Oh my goodness. Uh, the one that Theo likes, although I don't think it's it's going to be too small for us for back in Zambia. But oh my goodness, this is probably like more than six hundred pounds. I don't understand how you know. Oh, for the squat is fourteen kg. How old is a fourteen kg baby? <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> I don't 14, know. What's fourteen years? kg? I don't know. Let me Look at this array of stuff. How do you even know what you need? 
Well, at least I guess they sell them here. What's that? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Beanie bub and booties. <laughs> Theo's just picking out all the Batman related things. Because he's got Batman pajamas, so the baby should as well. <laughs> Hmm. Why do they only have pink or blue? Why well, we go to camp? There's no bath here. Well, we'll put it in the bottom of the shower. No, you can't. And then what? Well, the anyway, we need it at the beginning. Can we get one of these? The ones to the, to the right hand side. Get one of these. Oh, it's you really the when, uh, when you're on camp. You'll fit over the hole and you can just shove them in there. <laughs> shove it in. So. One to three years. So we're not sure what age babies go in the bath. And Thea said this, got, this one's got hair. This one's got hair, so it's old. <laughs> um, but what you saw, not to three years of age. Well, yeah, okay. I guess I agree with you. That's oh, probably. Yes, Thank goodness he's a good one. <laughs> it's probably sensible. Then we can take it out to camp as well. Yeah. Okay, okay. we're done. Nappy disposals. Not sure why you can't just put them in a bin. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, we'll get an ingrown to be cheaper. One, six, three, two. So that was a little bit more successful. First of all, we went into Babies R Us um, and was horrified at the price of the cots. There were thousands of quacha. Um, probably that, like the nicer ones were at least maybe 400, 500 pounds. And they were just the ones that you have up to six months. And then we found another little baby shop and there was um, like a changing sort of chest of drawers, table-y type thing. Um, and that was 5,000 quacha, which is I think a bit less than 500 pounds or something like that. And then we went to another, just a normal furniture shop and saw the same chest of drawers changing thing for like 2,000 less, um, exactly the same. So it shows you that, you know, if you go to a baby shop, uh, put the price up. If you go to a normal furniture shop, then it's, it's lower down. Um, and then we went to another really expensive furniture shop, which I've never been into before. And there was like no one in it. Um, really expensive furniture. But we saw this really cute cot. Um, but it was really, really expensive. So I will put, uh, I'm just like, it's just like it's expensive. Um, I will put a picture in of it. It's very cute, very expensive and very massive. They come and they make it up themselves. Um, but we're worried like if you put it in one room then you won't be able to move it to another room because it's so big and it won't even fit through the door. So we've been in traffic for quite a while. So Dee is a little bit grumpy. Yes, I am grumpy. And now we're trying to find Orca, which is like a furniture shop. I, I can see it. What about this lifestyle? Where is it? I don't know. Where's that? Oh, there's another furniture shop. Look at it, it's a furniture it's shop. Something else. It's something else. I oh, think he's trying to sneak me past a furniture shop. I think that's, uh... Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a furniture shop. Oh, there's a We went in and it's a lot of furniture there, but they said that um, they don't have any baby cots or changing or children furniture or anything, um, which is helpful because it's quite a big place. Um, but we found a little chair that's like a rocking chair, so we got that, but they didn't have them inside, so we need to go drive to somewhere else to then pick it up. These are all like the travel cot ones. I know the same ones that we saw in the Yeah, but I think it's for younger. I don't understand. I think it's for younger babies. Doesn't really show that, give that much info. Oh, here's some info. Oh no, which one's that for? That one. That one's got a mosquito thing over it. Hmm, not great that it's closed down. It's raining like crazy and we're actually completely soaked and if you can see, look at my shoes, like there's no drainage in this small car park so you're working in like a good couple of inches of water. Um, 
So our last bit of baby shopping did not go that great. So I'm in the way of Theo. This is not an attractive angle at all. Um, and we went to, well, I tried to go to a couple of shops that were closed. Um, or like closed down, not even just closed. Um, and went to game and they had a lot of like smaller baby cots and I've just got completely confused about you're supposed to use for what age I just really confused and I did the worst thing that you could do and Google just the some model others. okay I'm gonna I'm gonna show you <laughs> just the <drainage. laughs> this is what this small car park looks like can you see Maybe I should I turn love, it to the other one. Like, I love this. This, look, this. this is what this the drainage is in this mall. Look at this big truck. Surfing. It's just yeah. This yeah. Zambia in the rainy season, people. We like it. Um, yeah. So I googled one of the makes of it and saw like you know how much cheaper it is not in Zambia, which is the wrong thing to do. Um, but I just kind of I have no information on it. There's no one there ribbit, ribbit. to help you or give you any information, so we had to like pull out. Come on, come on, try! We had to like pull out the boxes and just try and work out what was included in what thing, and yeah, so you yeah, really don't know. Try, 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 try. Um, I feel really sorry for these people walking out here. Move. They are very wet. Um, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so not a very successful shopping trip. So we've got the, the, the chair thing still to pick up from a uh, uh, warehouse, but I don't know if we're actually going to make it in time. And hearing that Theo's brakes are going to fail is not really what you want here. So here are the directions we were given to find the warehouse. So we think, think this is the right place. <laughs> Look at this um, road. <laughs> Wouldn't they have like an orca? Wouldn't they have like an orca sign or something? No, that's not a blue gate. Um, yes, sir. The orca. Which one? So the next next turn. So I go I go back I go back and then I go and the next one. So when I go back, all right. Whatever you say. <laughs> so we went down the wrong way. Okay, let's try this again. We've got 30. Well, we've got about 30 minutes that we've got to get to this place to pick it up. Down here. Yes, sir. Uh, this is not good. Hey, didn't you say something about green sides? Oh, the 
there's somebody there, yes. yay. Okay, take your thing. Okay, enjoy. <laughs> I'm staying here. I don't want to get wet. All okay? Yeah, it's in a sealed box. So we can't even check if it's so the right thing. It's a, a grey one. A grey one? It's a grey one. But they didn't do grey. Grey. Are you sure? Yes, they said grey. They just stop. They said grey. Grey on the box is grey. It says grey on the box. But, but they said they didn't do it in grey. It's grey on the box. It's a swim gel. I saw the thing. Okay, well, let's see what we get when we go home. We better be able to return it if it's wrong. Just bring the paper back. Okay. And I know where it is now, so it'll be quick. <laughs> it'll be easy. Uh, yeah, the mythical blue gate. So, as I mentioned before, maybe I don't know that it's Valentine's Day. Um, we were going to go out for a meal, but now we really can't be bothered because we've been out all day and sleepy and tired and rainy and cold. Um, so, we're having very romantic, hungry lion. Very <laughs> unhealthy. Very unhealthy in the car. Yeah, so. Oh, can you feel the romance, Theo? Very much. Was it successful? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it was that successful. We've actually, I think... We bought one or two things. We really struggled getting a cot because um, they're so expensive and we weren't really sure what we needed. Um, but since I've joined a couple of like mummy groups in... I thought I could have got a wheelbarrow cheaper. <laughs> Just shove it in there. Could have made, made something that fits over it. Looks like a, looks like a thing to cover, protect them from the rain. Um, it's easy to push around, it's sturdy, definitely sturdy. If you were scared, I could put two trailing wheels on the front, then it doesn't need to fall over, can't fall over. So, anyway, a couple, anyway. <laughs> a couple of people from the group since I've managed to find some cots. Um, one is gonna drop like a travel cot off for us today, a former like colleague of mine, um, at the nursery, and um. Another one is a friend's sister, so um, well, hoping to get that cot soon. Because your whole forehead is in the way. Yeah. Is, is my forehead too big? Hold on, let me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think that's about it. Okay. Thank you for watching. Take care. Uh, we'll see you in the next update. It's nice having you guys around. It's a bit lonely without someone to talk to. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.